Hey, how you doing? Chris here. So, I'm going to make a, a little product video of this stuff called Deoxit D100. It's not really going to show a whole heck of a lot, but what I wanted to show everyone is that this stuff is really, really good. And I'll show you what I did and the reason why I'm saying it's good. So it gives you a, a little bit of what I think is a good product in my two cents in a little bit based on my experience using it. Back in the day before the military banned contact cleaner, this, this certain type of contact cleaner called uh, trichloroethylene, and that's what we use to clean a lot of our equipment uh, in the field. Well, you can't get that. It's a, it's a carcinogen, and you only can get it if you go like to a foreign country or whatever. But, you know, I always try to find something that's very similar to that because that stuff works so damn good. And this is what I, I bought. It's a small can. It's really pricey. But I'm going to show you what I did and, and uh, let you decide what you think. So, here was my issue. Um, this 30-year-old Harman Kardon receiver, it's like 30 watts per channel. And what happened was, you know, we turned the volume up, and the right channel over there, it, it wouldn't even come on. It was, at best, just crackly. As you can tell, it's working now. In the left channel, I could barely get any volume out of it. So what I did is I took the whole receiver on my workbench and took the back cover off here, blew everything out with the air compressor, very lightly blew out all the, any dust that was in there, it really wasn't that bad. In any moving part, I had uh, squirted a little bit of this on there. You don't need a whole heck of a lot, just a light, light film, and let it work in. Then I took, alright, let me shut, let me shut this off and I'll show you, so it doesn't, crank up and by me. You just pull these pull these plugs off and squirt a little shot in there and of course behind the potentiometers too. There's a little potentiometer in there with little contacts. So I coated all everything in here and even the push buttons and you can get to the push buttons behind the you know when the covers off there you spray back in there and it's good to go let that sit let this stuff um, let this stuff sit on those contacts for I don't know a good 10 15 minutes minimum if you can and what it does is like a chemical reaction and it just breaks up all the crap and wear and tear on there and it, and it gives a better contact surface. Also will dissolve any corrosion you got in there too. So I did that and then I took a uh, took the air compressor and blew out a little bit more you know just kinda blew everything off that I could and then while it was unplugged just work, work the buttons Push, 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 turny, 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 turny. You know, get that stuff worked in real good. You know, on these on these knobs. Like that. Like that. Right. And then watch. Hit the power button. Wait for it to cycle up. Hit the. And guess what? Works perfectly. Everything works. Bass, no crackle. Treble, no crackle. Balance, right, left. Volume, no crack. So, I wish I could do a before and after of what I did, but that's essentially what I did to get this old receiver 
back to life and it sounds just as good as it ever did it's, it's uh deoxit d d100 and, and uh it's kind of worth you know I, I think i paid six or seven bucks i don't remember for this stuff and you don't need a whole hell of a lot to do what you need to do but it works and uh it might work for you too so of chucking in these old receivers which are some of the best made cleanest sounding natural sounding systems from the early 80s hell even some of the 70 ones are good too if you can find them all right hey just thought i'd throw out a video on that and uh thanks for watching and have a good one